Once you receive your Forcoils Queen wig, the Forcoils Empress wig, Forcoils Goddess wig, you want to remove it from the box and it will be covered in this nice little net and you want to prepare it to be washed. As you can see right out the box, it's very, very, very curly, lots of pretty curls in it, but these curls aren't, don't quite look like how the picture looks so we have to wash it we have to clarify it condition it and brush it through in order to really get the hair to do what we want it to do to look just like the picture you also see that we have we'll have we have two elastic bands on the wig that really help um, are optional in case you want to either not have the U open wide and you kind of want to keep it closed tightly together or you can cut them off if you want to go ahead and prepare that way. So I'm going to cut these off in this little bit um, prior to washing it. When getting ready to wash the wig, you want to make sure that you have a Denman D41 or D9 brush to brush through it while washing and also a really good clarifying shampoo and deep conditioner. So for my clarifying shampoo today, I'm going to use Paul Mitchell's Special Tea Tree Shampoo. This is the generic version, but um, it works just as good. And I'm going to saturate the hair in warm water and start brushing through. So now that I've run the wig through water and instantly started brushing through with my Denman brush, you can see how the curls have started to form into a more loose, soft curl and not the tight curl that it came with. It's really essential to have either a Denman D9 or D41 brush when caring for this wig simply because it's the best brush that brushes through it and um, it's able to really, really define the curl. This is the point where I usually put shampoo in and brush that through as well. You can also see where I clipped the elastic bands. And use about a quarter size amount of shampoo and just rub that on the wig all the way down. And I'm going to take my Denman brush, Denman brush, excuse me, and brush. Now because this hair is so long, you want, you may want to hold it midway at some point and brush through the ends first and then work your way up so that you're not ripping a lot of the hair off the wig. You can really see the definition there. And I'm gonna rinse out the shampoo. And apply conditioner. Same way. And then just brush that through. The more you brush through it, the more you get to see this curl definition really coming in. So said for the longer wigs it may be better to do it in sections just so you're not ripping out a lot of the hair um, because the wefts are thinner on wigs than they are on wefted hair so so that it lays flat so you want to be able to keep as much hair on the wig as possible throughout this detangling process so sometimes it's best to section it off and brush through each section at a time once you rinse it out you can really really see the curl and you can see the shape of the wig starting to form and once it dries, you'll really, it'll expand on its own um, and be as big and full as the hair in the picture. So another thing too that I say is a really good optional step if you really want, if you want to, if you don't want the wig to be too big and you don't want the curl to expand too much, then another good thing you can do is use a leave-in conditioner such as a Kinky Curly Knot today and apply a little bit of it throughout the wig. I'm just gonna apply a very little bit, a little bit but you can apply more you want it to get really really curly and you want it to keep it to condense the wig and keep it from getting too big I just brush that through you can see to find the curl a little bit more and 
and then you're ready. You're pretty much ready to hang it. Let it dry, and then you're ready to wear.